Hi there folks and welcome back to the Ever and Andy Fishing Channel. I am Andy. And I'm IB. And we are sat on our couch playing with Luz. Again. Again. <laughs> it's something we do quite a lot. We um, we put out a vlog a little while ago uh, talking about our favourite five perch Luz. Yeah. And we thought while we're in the living room with all our baits spread out across the entire house we might as well make a little video talking about our top five favourite pike Luz. So without further ado I think we need to crack on. IB why don't you tell the whole world what your fifth favourite pike lures? Ooh, it's a very, very difficult decision. I am a big, big fan of Salmo sliders. I have three in here. My most favourite one being this one. Why is that one your favourite? I like all lures that have orange and red. Anything that has orange, yellow and red, big massive fan. And the lures are great. They have amazing action in the water. And I'm just a big fan of a jerkbait altogether. Keeps me busy, out of trouble. One thing about it is it casts an absolute mile. Oh god, yeah, it flies. It flies. So make sure that you're casting somewhere where you can't hit anyone around you. They go a long, long way. Big wide action. Great bait. Great bait, agreed. Yours? My fifth favourite pike lure of all time. I knew I wanted to fit in a tail bait, but there was a few. I I, I really like the hybrid pike and yeah. I caught some good fish on that. Um, I really like the loose body eels. Yeah. I've caught a lot of fish on that. And I was like, oh, but also, I absolutely love the burbot. So we that's what I've gone for. It's, they're, just, they're just so different and so cool. There's so much to like about this thing. It perhaps isn't as versatile as a loose eel. Maybe which you not. can put your own jig heads and stuff on. The loose eel is not as cool though. Yeah, well, it hasn't got the flappy fins and all the cool stuff. There's a, a rattle built in. I catch a lot of fish on these. Yeah. You know, it's. I'm sure it's a lot to do with the shape and the fins and all that, but I can't explain exactly what it is. Great fish catcher. Um, not great in shallow water. You wouldn't. You wouldn't fish it on your local village yeah, pond. It's a fair amount of weight to them, but you know, if you're fishing down to about 15, 20 foot, absolutely great bait. Rattly. It, they just work. They just work. The and they look just work. so cool. It's fun, isn't it? So, so it's cool. It's just a, a fun lure. I like the fact that Savage Gear made something that weird. We don't even have burbot in the UK anymore. The fish don't seem to mind, they like yeah. them. So if I'm going out, if I can only take five lures with me, that's in there, no doubt about I've it. I've got a okay. IB, number four. It's funny you said about that, your number five, my number four. <laughs> Guess what this lure is? Uh, it looks very much like a Savage Gear Burbot. It's so very much Savage Gear Burbot. And guess what colour it is as well? Orange and yellow, which is my favourite colour. So you've done alright on these as well, haven't you? You've caught a few on them. I have done alright on them, yeah. I just, you probably can't see it. We'll try and show it as much as possible. But like, every every little detail, uh, like, every, obviously the tail moves and it's awesome. But even like the little wing things, what would they call them? Little fins. Little fins. Or wings. Wings. Just some burbot wings. <laughs> they have so much movement. Got some them. good teeth marks on this one as well. Yeah. Looks like it's had a few fish on it. Number four for Num you? Number four is a bit of a weird one. It's not a bait that anyone's going to be able to go out and buy because they haven't been making them for about 10 years. Okay. So let's excuse me on this one. It's just, it's quite a personal bait to me because it's probably the bait that really set me off in my mid-teens as I want to do some more lure fishing. I want to get into this. This is... It looks brand new. <laughs> this is an absolutely trashed. Uh, fox micro jointed router. Now we're talking about a fox lure back in the days when uh, fox was still making lures out of balsa wood. Mid teens, 14, 15, 16 year old Andy, I didn't have a lot of money to spend on lures. I bought this, it was a real luxury. I think this cost me about a tenner, which for me at that point was, oh. was like, you know, it's four meps. Essentially was how I'd have quantified that at that point. And I caught so many fish on it, so many fish on it. It, so it was the holder of so many PBs and it really opened my eyes into more modern lure fishing rather than just throwing a spinner or a big S, which I think might be coming up pretty soon. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's a sentimental bait. It's a bait that I'll never ever cast again. This will always have a place for me, this micro jointed router, because of the memories and because of the fish I caught on it, yeah. more importantly. And so. it has bought me a brand new intact in a perfect nick, just in a different color. Yeah, someone actually got in touch with me. I put a, I put a, a blog you post made, out yeah. years ago and someone got in touch and said, I've got one of those. It's still in the pack and never use it do you want it and it i literally cried didn't i I, was yeah. like, I can't believe yeah, it i've got a it. new a new jointed ruler so yeah my fourth favorite pike lure of all time is this tiny little wooden mess brilliant wouldn't swap it for the world ib 
Number three. Three for me. Number three is my very, very, very top lure that I'm gonna use, and it's the Strike Pro Guppy Junior. Actually, it has the wrong tail on it. I prefer the other tail that comes with it. There's a paddle tail. Yeah, there's a paddle paddle tail, and there's this one, although this one works great as well. And I've caught quite a few pike on it. PB? Fish, wasn't it, on that one? Biggest pike ever? I had a PB on it as well, and uh, on the broads. Yep, yep. With this, there's so many different ways you can fish it. I will be just aggressively gerbating it, not going to be a problem. You can just cast and wind, you can just wind and stop, like you can twitch, you can do so many things with it. And it looks, you've seen how it looks in the water, it looks amazing. It, it's a fantastically designed lure, the, the, the balance to it and the ability to make it work at such slow speeds for a, for a yeah. jerk bait, particularly yeah. something with a bit of soft plastic on the back, you really can just inch it back. But if you want to absolutely thrash it in the spring when they're on the when they're on the shallows post spawn maybe, it works brilliantly yeah. for that. But as even well. when you cast and wind, it still glides. On does the a little sides. bit, doesn't it? it? Just does, does it. enough. So still super versatile. It. I thought that was going to be your number one. It changed. It changed very recently. <laughs> I wouldn't go bike fishing without it. Definitely not. It is a very very precious lure to me. <laughs> Yours? Well, actually, three? my number three, I think you've got next to you somewhere. So my third favorite pike bait is a bait that actually, if you're a regular viewer of the vlog, you'll have seen a review we did on these. This is the uh, Rakishad from Moby Baits in Germany. Um, this is a phenomenal piece of kit. It just looks like a shad. And you know, we talked about all this on the, on the vlog, so we'll link that at the end so you can watch that if you want to. It looks just like, just like any old shad but they're massively buoyant, they're really, really buoyant. So if you mount it on a, a screw weight like I was doing, it sits like that on the bottom. So as well as being able to cast it and wind it and the paddle tail be flapping around and all that, you've got the option of just hopping it around almost like a big giant yeah, nebri. Yeah. And it was totally effective. And it has been in the smaller sizes as well. We've had, yeah. had fish on the river on the smaller sizes. Even in sizes. the little, little yeah. ones as well. So uh, that, that was, a. have never seen a big shad that is as versatile or as cool as this, even to the point where it's got a um, weedless slot. So you could put a whacking great EWG hook in there, cast this in the reeds and all the nasty yep. stuff yep. Uh, in the spring and retrieve it through there. There's so much you can do with it. It's so versatile. Even with a couple of bits about it that I don't like, this is still my favorite shad. And I think that I think that pretty much sums that, it up. Yeah, I think that sums it's it up. It's a fabulous, perfectly. fabulous, versatile lure. So that's my uh, third favorite pipe bait. That. Unfortunately, IB's taken ownership of me. <laughs> I gave it number two. My all-time favourite bait, until very recently, was always the Savage Gear original, before they changed it, Freestyler, which I have a whole box, a whole box here. I will try and get as many of them out. Still have a few, <laughs> still have a few. Still have a few, and I, we still have a few in the yeah, office in the drawer, don't we? Building up a collection of original freestylers, aren't we? This became a tradition for my birthday, and is gonna get some freestylers to the point. Funny story: there was once where we found some freestylers on eBay, and there were three freestylers, quite in good condition. And oh, Andy said, I "Forgot about this." Andy said, <laughs> "I'm gonna get some freestylers, but I'm not really sure because the bid is quite high now, and we still have some. Perhaps we will wait and see, and there's gonna be some more." Da 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 da. And I was like, "Yeah, no, agree." And then I went to one room and opened my eBay account, and I started bidding. And long story short, we were bidding against each other. <laughs> I obviously won because I can never lose. And then when freestyles arrived, we literally found out that. I was bidding against you, you were for, bidding against me. <laughs> for the last 20 minutes of the eBay auction, IB was, in the, IB was in the bedroom and I was in the kitchen and we were bidding against each other. I'm pretty other. sure they were those as well. It was well. those two. two. IB and I were bidding against each other for the same two lures. Yep, for the same so. two lures. <laughs> Whoops. It was very funny when I found out. To be honest, I, I wish we, we would be able to find the ones in the smaller size, a few more of them. They're a lot more rare, the smaller ones, they aren't they? They're a lot more I get, rare, I get the yeah. feeling that quite a few people would have bought the bigger ones, but maybe not had the kit to use yeah, them. Yeah, maybe. Whereas the little one, um, you could you could get it moving properly, you could get it gliding properly. 
on on quite a soft rod. It the didn't best take a lot. Junk bait I have ever ever used. I do you know what? I'd go as far as to say yeah. I agree. I think I go as far as to say I think it's the best hard bait I've ever used. They're just brilliant. What well, you can see is the state of that one, and that's yeah. actually reasonably new by our standards. Yeah. The, yeah, the no. original one that got lost was basically paintless, but still worked. The one that I've lost uh, the most recently, and that was on the River Derwent in Derby, I've literally cried by that bridge. And it wasn't the losing... The brook trout colour. Yeah, and I, I've lost it, and I've lost it not because of anything, but because the trace that I was using was quite bad, so just unclipped from me generating in the river, and I legitimately cried standing there with the loose line being slack in the water. That's this, how sad it was. This is gonna sound like a bit of a charity case, but if there's anyone out there <laughs> that has the who has any original freestylers, particularly the one that says Jack on the side of it, yeah, yeah. if you don't use it anymore, you might have a couple of customers. If you get in touch with both of us privately, we might bid <laughs> each other up. <laughs> you might earn even more of it. We most definitely <laughs> bid each other up, most definitely. Right, what's your number My two? My number two favourite pike lure of all time. Here's me. My number two favourite pie lure of all time. Again, anyone who keeps an eye on the vlog won't be shocked at this. Even though it's probably not in shot yet, you probably already know what it is. Big spinner bait. I absolutely love a big spinner yeah. bait, don't I? Particularly on the rivers. They're just deadly. You've caught some really, really good fish on these. Loads of different colours. There's so much vibration, so much noise. I did, a, I did a, a little video on these actually a few years ago. I don't even know if it's still on the channel or not about fishing these in really coloured water yeah, on yeah. Um, Rudyard um, and they totally changed the day for us didn't they we couldn't get a fish we couldn't get a bite we all switched to the bush we were getting actually I think we were getting it on this exact yeah it's that one, one. And it was on the red as well we all switched to the bush and all of a sudden we had seven or eight fish in the boat yeah. for the day um, on those days when the water's muddy and coloured and it's difficult the amount of vibration and noise that these things put out will change your day. It's ridiculous, actually. Especially in the river, they work really well in the river. Great river baits. Uh, good in uh, big pits as well, gravel pits, uh, trout waters. I know plenty of guys who've caught on them. Um, again, just like the burba, actually, not massively versatile in terms of depth. But there's like, the smaller spinner baits out there Again, as well. cast miles. Yeah, great casters. Uh, you don't have to do a lot with them. Um, weedless, they write themselves and fish like that. It's so loud. <laughs> Very loud. They write themselves and fish like that. And actually, I've just heard on the grapevine that Savage Gear are about to release a monster version of the Debush. A bigger version? Bigger version oh, yeah. with bigger blades. And it's going to have some kind of like uh, elk hair type stuff on the back. It's oh, you're going to be all over it, aren't so you? So I'm going to be all over that like a pike see, on the bush. I really like the bush. I just find it really boring. Uh, it's effective though, isn't it? It's it's one of those. It's the it's the bait for a day when it's hard. I think when all the cool stuff isn't working, um, you know, you can chuck that out, and it it gets followed. It gets interest straight away, doesn't Maybe. it? Right. So that's my number two pike bait okay. sorted, which leaves us with your favourite pike bait of all time. I'm gonna go back to ah, Rakashad. Okay. That's why. Like recently, all of my priorities on my pike bait or a perch bait have changed. Literally, the best bait ever. What lure does that? And most importantly, biodegradable. That's like such a huge thumbs up for me. The fact, like Andy said, that it sits upright like that, and it's, it doesn't take long either. It's not like, oh yeah, wait till it goes up. You drop it and it goes whoop. So, number one. I think it's gonna be number one for a very very long time. I think every single time we go pike fishing they're gonna come along with me no matter what especially this color <laughs> because it's, it's the know, orange and yellow again that's yellow, the one. It's a bit or an orange. Do you know I don't blame you for putting those at number one because as far as shads go it's they're amazing. just totally different amazing. It's, it's unique and, and brilliantly effective so yeah don't blame you at all for that not like i just like it's so versatile you can do so many different things with it so it's yeah, a really really one. interesting piece of kit there very very interesting. very interesting what's your number one this was probably the easiest one you know exactly what it's gonna be i got one of these when they first came out and i remember taking it to a local lake clipping it on casting it out and within five wines of that handle i'd had a fish I had a fish straight away. So that's probably the only time that's ever happened to me with a new bait. My absolute must have number one pike bait of all time is the line through trout, the Savage Gear line through trout. They're just astonishing fish catchers. Wherever you go, pike fishing all over the world. Yeah. 
guys are going to be using these. It, it's just a game changer. They've actually reduced the range these days down to um, slow sync and medium sync, only in the three different colours, the um, albino, the brown trout and the rainbow trout, which I've got somewhere on the floor. And then they did the uh, Japanese Special. custom colours as well and stuff like that in the two different sync rates. I can't wait to try out the 40 centimetre version of the big trout that we have line through. Well, we need to find somewhere to fish it, don't we? Well, we're going to go trolling very, very soon. In the next couple of weeks, we're going to go trolling and we're going to try them out and I can't wait. It's easy to fish. It's a versatile range. The colours are great. They're so natural on the action and the movement is so good. It's got me out of trouble yeah. so many yeah. times. Yeah. I remember I remember um, a day on um, Chaucer Finnett with Chris, we geez, it was hard. We a few follows and a couple of jacks, but we just couldn't figure it out. And about six hours into an eight hours day fishing, I thought I'm just going to go back to my fireside line through trout and just see. And within five minutes, fish. we had a really, really high quality fish in the net. And it's not a coincidence; it's just a fish puller. It is. It is a really, really good lure. Really it's good a total lure. fish puller. Probably something that will come up in the comment section about this one is yeah. the fact that some people have had problems with the rigging in the past. I must be the only person in the world who has never had an issue with the rigging on a well, line no, through trout. Well, no, me too, because I've never had it. It's just never been a problem for me um, with the originals, with the new ones, um, but SG have upgraded all the rigging for the new models, so you see up there the double crimp up at the top. I think you can change now anyway. Yeah, you? yeah, you can slip it all straight through. If you want to re-rig it yourself, do I find after four or five fish, the trace is You would need anyway. to rigging anyway. But yeah. the kind of problems we're talking about here, I mean, you should be, anytime you snap on a wire trace, yeah. you should test it. Yeah. So, you know, in the same way you should be testing these, you should be testing a wire trace anyway. Every wire trace, you don't, it's not worth it risking it. So totally. yeah, that is my absolute number one and favorite pilot of all time. I'm and not I'm, surprised. That's okay. it. That's well, all ten done. Get your trout out of my face. <laughs> I have a few honourable mentions. Honourable. Honourable mentions, uh, which would be the line through trout, definitely, because it is a bait that I have used a lot. And then also, Megas, the Mega <laughs> yeah, S. Mega S. It has moving eyes. What, what <laughs> lure has eyes that move? Um, and the big S as well. And the third one, that the bush. Again, I really like, and I want to fish more with the bush because it is a great lure especially i know that it really works for you because when we go you do catch on it yeah but it's just a con just too boring for me <laughs> i've got a couple of honorable mentions honorable i talked about the berber and the, about that whole tailbait thing and i wanted a tailbait in and the hybrid pipe came very very close to going in but not quite ju just because of the berber. Berber's. <laughs> the berber's wings it's got flappy wings but that, it moved the poor pike out of the way that hybrid pike is an absolute, again, an absolute fish yeah, catcher. one massive pike. Yeah, though, yeah, well, yeah I've, I've done well on the hybrid pike, actually. It's, it's always worked for me. It, there's a time and a place for it, I think. I found they work better in slightly warmer water conditions. Pre and post spawn, that thing over the top of the over the top of the top edges of the gravel pits locally, you, you're just not going to fail. So, yeah, big, big one for me. I must admit, I use the smaller one more than the bigger one, which is unusual for me. I just find the bigger one tangles up too much. It drives me bonkers. Yes, yeah, yeah. But the smaller one doesn't. The other honourable mention honorable. Um, is another jerk bait. Um, and it's one actually that probably goes under the radar a little bit. The um, jerkster. And you can see from the state of that one, that one's had a few fish on it. Really interesting bait, the jerkster, in that you can adjust the weighting in it. So I've popped the little cap off the top. In there, at the moment, I've got three steel ball bearings. I'll drop them back in. I think the mic will pick it up. And put that back on. When you buy a jerkster, you also get the option of some glass ones that don't yeah. weigh the same. So all of a sudden, you can change the the pitch of the noise and the depth that you can fish the jerkster at. We recently took delivery of three of the new colours. My favourite colour. <laughs> of the jerksters. I mean, the paint finishes on these look absolutely awesome. And again, come with different little balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get got all the different um, weightings in there, so you can make different sounds with them. I can't wait to get cast in these because these, yeah. these are just going to be deadly you can tell straight away they do look really really nice really really versatile jerk bait you can rip it back by making it light you can put the heavy stuff in and you fish it slow and low there's a lot of jerk baits out there this shape um really really effective ones but i think where this edges it for me a little bit is the fact that you can change that weight yeah yeah i think that's yeah. a really cool idea so my two honorable mentions are the savage gear jerkster and the hybrid pike cool well with that said 
people it's been a lot of fun and we're all piped up to go pike fishing or perch fishing or doing some kind of fishing any kind of fishing any kind of fishing <laughs> any kind of fishing maybe not bait fishing any kind of fishing not green fishing <laughs> uh, green <laughs> Um, it's been so much fun to go through and just remember and because I haven't been doing a lot of pike fishing because it's a bit heavier on my arm and my arm is still trying to recover that got me so excited just going through all the boxes and you pick up each lure and it just brings you so many memories so many so memories, many memories, memories. Each lure. it's one of the nice things actually about this style of fishing actually it's because we because we because the baits that we use are durable and because they last a long time they build up their yeah, own little yeah. sentimental memories you know a fly eventually falls apart and a ball of ground bait disintegrates yeah. but these things kind of stay with you forever and I get a little bit obsessive about particularly with with the real old ones in not fishing them and just keeping them as yeah it, we have we have way too many lures that we're not allowed to touch I'll tell you that we have a whole drawer in Andy's office where we're just not touching so on that note I think we'll say thank you very much for watching the video um, let us know your favorites you know let us know your top five it may well be a lot different to us yeah yeah absolutely so comment section below let us know your favorite baits again just like we did with the perch video if there's a common theme if there's a bait that really comes up regularly we'll buy some and try and we're as open to listening to your advice as you should be to listening to us so let us know what your favorites are uh, and on that note, if you want to check out any of the lures that we've been um, showing to you guys, the links are going to be in the description box below. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel. We're doing again. We're doing. We're doing well. We're keeping the channel. The, our little channel is growing and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And just keep tuned, guys. There's going to be um, more and more stuff coming from us, especially with uh, summer coming. It's all going to happen. Take care, folks. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye.